Hey YouTube fans and K-Car fans, this is my new purchase of the 1986 Plymouth Reliant K-Car. Um, I bought, I purchased this car from an 80 year old lady that is now in retirement. Oh, there goes the bus. But, um, it's got the original hubcap and uh, it's an SE. Uh, there's some rust there on the back fender well. More rust there on the back fender well. Um, it's silver, it's all original with maroon interior and the only thing I've done to this car at this point is I had new struts put on it and um, and a wheel bearing I believe but uh, let me show you the inside here this is a Canadian car I am from Texas living in Canada and wanted to find an old car that I could drive around in the winter. So as you can see, it's silver, it's all original. The interior is maroon, burgundy, whatever. There's a crack there in the windshield. Don't look at my dirty garage. Uh, there's a crack in the dashboard. All these cars had this. But, uh, anyway, okay, let's start it up. It's got a kilometer, uh, speedometer. It's got a hundred and seventy thousand kilometers. So, do the math, I think that's, what, sixty thousand miles per, or sixty miles per, um, uh, one kilometer or something like that but anyway or 60,000 anyway I don't know what that ratio is but uh, I think it's uh, about a hundred thousand and something miles but anyway here we go oh K car man said the uh, power loss light when you start it it should be five and mine does not click five so I think I've got some kind of oh I replaced the battery not too long but I'll show you guys and of course it needs to be clean but anyway more on the interior I don't have the original floor mats um, I put oh the other the only other thing is I put this AM FM radio in here and then so I can put my iPod uh, so yeah but anyway um, there's the hood liner I mean the headliner and the map light it works and here's the back seat. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I can get a good picture there. But anyway. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start it up. Let's see. I think it clicks kind of a... It's supposed to click five. But it doesn't. There's one, one, two... One, two, three. So, evidently I have some kind of problem here. And the the amp on the battery doesn't seem to be very high. I think it's supposed to be like in the middle there. But uh, anyway, let's see if it's going to start. Well, there we go. Runs pretty good. I've got the... Uh, faux wood dashboard thing going and uh, there's no right view there's no right door uh, side view mirror so it's the, that's kind of annoying but uh, pretty much the interior is in pretty good shape the floorboards are they're not rusted out <clears throat> um, I have the rear defrost here and for some reason on the dash, the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the, 
the right blinker light display and the oil light is kind of off. It's kind of off shifted from the dash. I don't know why that happened, but uh, there's no AC because I'm in Canada. <laughs> but uh, it's got the original cigarette lighter and and the original ashtray. Whoa! It looks like Grandma was a smoker. I need to empty that out. I haven't looked at that before. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll uh, show you guys the engine, which I'm sure is probably really dirty. Oh, I replaced the, the uh, windshield wipers. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, the paint is really faded. Needs a paint job. So here we go. It's pretty rusty. There's the alternator. I had the oil change. Probably needs some spark plugs, but as you can see, it's, uh, let me see if I can zoom in here. There's lots of oil around the valve cover gasket. And there's the new battery, which is corroded. I probably need to clean that. But, um, oh, I had the struts. I had the struts, struts put on and the air filter. So there you go. If anybody knows, anybody has any information on what I can do here, I know it's, there's a lot of rust on it, but it uh, needs to be clean. But yeah, there it is, my 1986 Plymouth Reliance SE. Okay, car fans, thanks for watching. See you later.